Hello, hello. There we are. In that weird time of year where it's kind of like it's kind of cold at night so gotta turn gotta keep the heater on but not quite but it gets really warm in the day so i gotta either reprogram my heater or remember to turn it off during the day otherwise it's just it's just deadly not quite deadly but it's just it's really warm right now i got my windows open but computer running and you know i uh I, I went into the office and came back home it was like over 80 degrees <laughs> the, the heater of course wasn't running but with all the windows closed and the fact that it was running for most of the morning when it didn't need to be before it finally kicked off kind of gross kind of gross so i do have my windows open right now so hopefully there's not too much uh car noises and stuff I'm in from the outside. If there is, I'm going to have to close them again. We'll see. There we go. Let's get the right scene here. A <laughs> snazzy office. Thank you, Miho. Welcome, welcome. The wrong scene at first. If I get the milkshake, will there be men in your yard? That's a question that I can't answer for you, hon. You have to figure that out for yourself. <laughs> Uh, where, where do I go? There's a potential. It's over here. Here it does. Okay, I'm not supposed to be here just yet. He could tell you, but he'd have to. <laughs> Welcome in, Miho. Playing some 
Phasmophobia. How are you doing this evening? I think it's evening for you. Yeah, it should be evening for you. Hope you've been doing well. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, I will be, right now I don't have the, um, well, let me turn off my sound real fast. I have my monitor on, so I'm listening to myself. It makes it hard to talk when you have your own voice <laughs> repeated back to you. Hence my kind of uh, stuttering there. Uh, I will be turning on a redeem to join the hunt. Uh, a little bit into the stream, so... If you're around and you want to join in, feel free to avail yourself to that. But yeah, yeah, we can talk later. Uh, whenever. Yeah, anytime you want to hit me up in the DMs or in BC, I'm usually always down. For now, I do have the normal redeems on. It should be on. We have the join the hunt. I'll be turning that on. I'll probably do two. Probably two. Uh, Two hunts just to get warmed up, just to get things started, and then I'll turn the join, join the hunt redeem on. And uh, if some folks want to join in, they can uh, they can join in the hunt. I just like to make sure things are running smoothly and, and working all right before I get that going. Uh, let me get the game started here. Private audio going. some game audio and let's get over to the game hey there we go it's been a minute since i streamed i haven't been able to be on a consistent schedule as i'd like to be but such is life we're just gonna hop in i'm i'm gonna Oh, what do I do? Alt, shame and my T. Nuge, sound sensors. Alrighty then, let's get this party started. Select the jube. Job should be, we all, we start on Grafton. We like Grafton. Okay, let's do it. Ready up? Let's go. I'm going to listen in on the sound here for a second. Make sure that sound is good. Call our Steve. Get our keys. Sandra Wilson. Hmm. This game sound very low. Or it's just my not sure. Let's see here. I think it's probably okay. Maybe a little bit low. Let me know. Let me know if it's a little too low. Could always turn it up a little bit. 
it's soft, but Phasma usually soft feels fine. Okay. I'm gonna turn it up a skosh maybe. Audio. We'll try it uh there. I don't wanna blow out blow out air drums or anything. Let me know if it gets too loud or if it's still soft. Do you see the music box right off the bat? Wow. Kendra? Did you do something or am I just weird? I forgot to look for the power. Oh, did I hear something again? What do I hear? That could be weird. This is one of our favorite hiding spots, but they've blocked it off. They randomly block off, on professional, they randomly block off a lot of hiding spots. Oh, hello. EMF2. Nothing moved. So that is very indicative behavior of a wraith. When you just get a random EMF2 out of nowhere and nothing's been effective, affected, wraiths tend to do that. That means that they did their teleport. Um, and the wraiths, the, the wraiths, the actual only ghost that can teleport. Hmm. Picture that. EMF5. There we go. Uh, we're going to turn this off. Uh, let's see. Let's look at our evidence. EMF5. Wraith is still on the board. Could be a wraith. Maybe. Um, go get the power. I don't know if it's up here or not. Blockers? Blockers are blocked. So, and the power is also not up here. Sometimes up here you'll have the um, summoning circle spawn. It didn't spawn. Well, we have the music box. So of course, the summoning circle is not going to spawn. Derp. Is Ride Ride just still on the board? Yeah, Ride just still on the board. So we need to be out on the lookout for that. That's one of the reasons I turned off the EMF, because the um, Raiju really likes electronics. Electronics makes it very active. Okay, we have a can knocked over up here. That's very suspicious. Very, very suspicious. Twins are on the board. So we have it doing things in multiple rooms. Mm-hmm. Photo, what? Oh, I've been. That was, that was bad on my part. That was bad on my part. I should have took the photo earlier. I wanted to get a three star. Messed it up. What? Oh, okay. That was the ball upstairs. It just bounced. Oh, there's the bone. An old foot bone. Take that. This is also behind these boxes that are blocked off. That's a really good hiding spot. It looks like our only reliable hiding spot is going to be in here, behind this door. It's going to be our main reliable hiding spot. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this light. Prep that. that good going turn on this light here well i hear her laughing and a giggling upstairs so let's go look at our uh let's go look at our sanity because she's done a couple of things sanity's at 55 so it's really been blown out we need to prevent it to 
Get out the ghost to blow out a candle, prevent from hunting, and escape a hunt. Okay. I also need to figure out what it is. Shouldn't be too hard, though. Twins is a pretty good guess. Wraith is a pretty good guess. But it could be a lot of things. Still could be a lot of things. Let's look at what these ghosts could be. So the Wraith is the only actual ghost that can teleport from one part of the map to the other part of the map. It'll teleport to a character, and then it'll do a, it'll do something. When it does that, it'll set your EMF always to EMF2 if you have a handheld EMF. If you're looking at the board, you'll see the EMF, the board can go to EMF1, 2, or 3 because the board's only accurate plus or minus 1. So it could go to 2 or drop 1 or plus. So the board is really not a good indicator. You want an actual EMF in your hands. So when it kind of just... Gave us the EMF2 without actually doing anything. That's why I immediately thought this could be a wraith. We can use salt to try to see if, if it is a wraith. We drop salt and we use a glow stick. If it doesn't make footprints, then it's uh, almost certainly a wraith. Should be a wraith. If, it's, if you're stomping but you don't see little green feet, it's a wraith. You have to be careful around like carpets and rugs because sometimes the, the green feet will actually end up underneath the rug. The twins, they do, they, they do activities in two rooms. Um, so let's see, we have EMF5, we have Spirit Box, and we have Dots. For Wraith, for twins, we have Freezing, which we did not see, and Spirit Box. So both of these ghosts have Spirit Box. So I'm going to go ahead and take some pills, just because I don't want to go hunt quite yet. Yeah, that gets us out of hunting range. We're going to go ahead and take a Spirit Box. That'll narrow us down pretty quickly. And um, we'll take a dodge projector, and we'll take a camera. Video camera. Not seeing any ghosty with the mosty orbs. Wasn't done a whole lot here. Nothing knocked over down here. So it's only act interacted with this phone down here. You hear it interacting with the door up there. So almost everything it's done has been up here. Yeah, turn on that light. It's really messing with that door. Teleported this bear. Where are you? Are you here? There we go. So we got spirit box. Turn off that light. Okay, so we have Spirit Box, which narrows it down to Twins and Wraith. Um, we didn't see any freezing, so it's probably going to be a Wraith. I'm going with two Chrissies. I'll grab a glow stick, and we'll do a salt test next. I'm going to go ahead and put a Chrissy down here, just because we don't want it hunting like teleporting to us and hunting if it's a wraith. I'm pretty confident it is a wraith at this point. So we should be seeing dots. One Chrissy there. Drop these dot, uh, this uh, guy here. Actually, we'll just, can it be fingerprints? It cannot be fingerprints. And it can't be a mimic if there's no freezing. So also there's no ghost orb, so it can't be a mimic. We do need to get candle. We'll get that here in a bit. Wah, wah. I'm gonna get a salt pick. That in, that in. 
And we will take in a smooge. Get our smooges ready. Alright, so we heard a footstep. Can you uh, walk around a little bit more than that, please? <laughs> it only took one step. So you'll hear it stomping regardless of what the ghost is. I really need you to step more than that. So it's possible that it stepped into this rug and then we just didn't see the green footprint. Wow. Let's see, Wraith would be what dots, right? Just do this. Dots. Yeah, Wraith would be dots. There's the dots. There they were. So we know it's a Wraith. Boom. We didn't see him. We'll see him here again in a second. Oh, it just wiggled that bear. Oh, it turned the head around on the bear. I get a picture of that. So the head's backwards now. They just did that. Oh, yeah, that did count. Oh, it just moved it again. I don't know if that counts as another interaction or not. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay. This isn't going to be a good photo game anyway so just experimenting hello she's a giggling she's a giggling like it all right let's go ahead and get we're gonna go ahead and put our other Chrissy in there now that we know it's not twins so it did do the Alright, that is a legit hunt. So we're running. I'm gonna go hide in here. This is generally a pretty safe hiding spot. We'll know she's done hunting when she turns off the power. Or the light. She won't turn off the power. Just like that. Turn the light back on. You can't turn on switches um, while she's hunting. So if you can turn on switches, you know the hunt's over. After a hunt, you should have about a twenty. You should have a twenty-five second grace period before another hunt unless you've unless you've done a cursed hunt and then you have I, I think you have only a one second grace period all right so we need candle and we still need to escape oh we don't need to smudge it oh, i thought we needed to smudge it a lot of candle prevent and escape okay so let's do the candle in there We'll need to move the creases around to get more coverage of the room. They have a three meter range. So hopefully we can get this candle in there. Throw this creasy back further. It's not a hunt. She's just being obnoxious. Oh, this that is a hunt. Oh, she's really close. Okay, that at the very least should count as our escape if we survive. 
And then I think we reproditioned the crucis well enough. So we should just be able to hang out and uh, get her to stop hunting. Okay, so we got the escape. We need her to blow out the candle, and then we need to escape. Hunt. So grab our other smudge here. Grab a candle. Okay, so we got two cruises. She just did you blow that out? Not sure. Light it again. Okay, so yeah, we just need a perfect Why are you out here? Well, if she's going to be like that, I'm actually going to grab some more smudges. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. Spawns out here, we're in trouble. There she goes to the dots again. Oh, okay. We just saw her try to hunt. So when the crucifix gets bitten like that, kind of turns red. That was an attempt to hunt. That's a fake hunt. I should have known that. So I should have known that was a fake hunt because. After they take out the Crucy, you have a, a grace period before they can hunt again. With um, a Wraith, it should be... Well, with all ghosts, it's 25 seconds, except for the Demon, which is 20 seconds. I think those timings are right. I might be a little off in those timings. If I'm off and anyone knows I'm off, uh, please feel free to correct me. But I think that's the right timings. I could be... I could be off. I've been wrong before. Welcome back. All right. Got we got it right. We got our wraith, and didn't do too hot on the money, but that's okay. Look at here. All right, I'll do uh, one more and then I'll probably, I'll turn on the join the hunt redeem if anyone wants to join in. I take a limited item set uh, if I don't have any joiners, just to make the, um, I have other redeems as well. Feel free to avail yourselves. If you want to up the difficulty on me, you can make me discard items. You can make me use an item randomizer. You can make me play nightmare mode. So feel free to avail yourselves of those. Give me a nightmare. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. Let's see, who's this ghost? Karen Smith. That sounds like a demon.
All right, Miho would like to do, I uh, like to make us do nightmare mode. It was the twins. Dana. All right, let's do this. So nightmare mode, you only get uh, two evidence pieces for most of the ghosts. Uh, sorry about that horn. I don't know if the mic picked it up. I hope not. Do 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 sound sensors, strong thermo tripod, and doing Bleedsdale, which is very it's <laughs> one of the harder maps in the game on nightmare. Going in. We can't tell what our sanity is. Um, we can't see, we can't use the activity board at all. Um, and we have to infer what the ghost is based on its behavior. Oh, uh, because we only get some of the evidence item types. Uh, let's make sure we get our keys here. We also don't get told what the power is like we normally do. Oh, but we found the power right off the bat. There's also even fewer hiding spots. Go ahead and hit this power. Oh, what was this ghost name? Mary Williams. Mary Williams. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this light. Uh, even though those, these lockers are locked. Rude. Um, even though these lockers are locked, so the ghosts just turn off, they have breakers on us. You can still hide here, sometimes. Okay, the ghost just did something, turn on a fan, it sounded like. Is that above us? I think that's, yeah, I think that's upstairs there. That's a radio above us. This is a very active ghost right off the bat. Got a music box here. Boom. Quickly looking for the bone. Turn on this light. So this is a good hiding spot if we need to use it. So I like to turn on the light in here. That's available, ready for us. Whoa. <laughs> well, that is going to be a demon, I'm pretty sure. I can hit it in time, yeah. So this ghost is a demon. <laughs> or maybe a yokai. Could be a yokai. A mimic? Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well then. Well played, ghost. Well played. So the mimic has the ability to be any ghost of any type. And it can switch ghost types uh, at nearly any time. Well, it, it, I think it's every... I think it can switch as frequently as 30 seconds. But it's, it's very frequently. Its evidence item pieces always stay the same. So it has... And um, it can present... Um, it always has ghost orbs. That's its giveaway. Ghost orbs is always always its evidence type. 
even though it never actually um even though ghost ghost orbs aren't one of its identifiers it has ghost orbs and then it has three other pieces of evidence which are its actual giveaways so it can switch to a demon and it can use its early hunt ability or it can switch to a yokai and it can uh use its ability to hunt if it's nearby while you're talking which i was talking a whole bunch um so yeah let's try that again shall we Letter, motion sensor, parabolic mic, camera, alt, sanity, some smudge, some sound sensor, thermal, boom. Ready up. Start. I think I got everything. Kind of hard to tell since uh, my items are reduced. They're not all even. All right, Lisa, Lisa Garcia. Heard, I've heard nice things about Lisa Garcia. Gonna see if I can see the uh, magic mirror through the wall there. No power. That's okay. Lockers are blocked. This time I can at least open the doors, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the switch. You know, there we don't have power here. Sometimes your um, Ouija board will spawn right here, which is nice. Uh, I just heard it close a door, but I couldn't tell if it was an ambient noise or not. Oh, music box again. Yeah, it opened the door somewhere. This door. Oh, did I get it in time? Fingerprints. So we got one evidence piece already. We also got the skull, the skull bone. Unfortunately, this is one of my favorite hiding spots, and it's in this room. Just knocked on glass. I heard it tap. We should get more fingers. Yep. Uh, so we have fingerprints, which takes ride you off, so we don't have to worry about turning off our electronics. Ride juice are very powerful with electronics on. I'm turning on that light because this is also another viable hiding spot, so long as the ghost doesn't path into the room. We do have gin on the board, so I'm going to turn on the power. This is kind of a risky move. I didn't see freezing yet. Though I don't know what gin's requirements are. I don't know if gin requires freezing. We only get two evidence pieces. Let me two. Go ahead and mosey on out of here, shall we? Can't see what our sanity is.
All right, so we have fingerprints. We've got a number of ghosts on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just defensively take sanity. And so we don't get our backs blown out right off the bat. We're going with two creases. We're not gonna repeat our last performance. We're gonna, we're gonna get it this time. One crucy here. And we're gonna put one crucy here. We're gonna mule in some we're gonna mule some stuff in for a minute. Did it manifest? Yeah, I think it manifests. So here we heard the um we heard the EMF kind of warble, like it went ba da 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 da. It's usually the, the EMFs being interfered with, which usually means the ghost has manifested itself. Oh, what do we do? Candle and photo. Uh, we have Hauntu on the board, so that requires freezing. So we can mark Hauntu off with that. Ultra guys should be easy to identify. If there's a big explosion of items, that'll... that'll Give away poltergeist phantom. We can identify with the camera. There are some Gorio we can identify with dots. Let's get some dots in here. Boom. The book in there. We should be hopefully not be getting hunted anytime soon with two creases and just taking sanity. This light. Some Orbeez. No Orbeez. Looks for some dots. If we see dots through the viewfinder of the camera, but not with our naked eye, then it's a Gorio. It'd be risky. I should have a smudge for this. I'm going to actually get a smudge for this. Though if it's a gin, a smudge won't really help us. It'll just, it'll, it'll catch us and kill us. Do this. Let's look for dots here first. I hope everyone is having a swell evening. I hope this is the ghost room. Might actually be a hallway ghost. So we're gonna we're we're, we're probably gonna need a thermo thermometer it. Even if it is a hallway ghost, we can still get activity um, from any of the evidence item pieces. If it's if it wanders in the room, it could still interact with the dots or with the um, ghost writing book. It's just not as likely to be in that area. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna grab a lighter. We already have a smudge up there. We're gonna grab a that and uh what else do we need to grab a thermometer that's right so what would a spirit box to give us spirit box would give us mimic poltergeist phantom okay Let's 
let's see what we got. 22 in the hallway. 23. Negative temperatures. Oh, we do have freezing. Okay. So freezing temperatures. Very nice. Um, Jin Hantu Demon. Uh huh. Okay. So we can rule out Mimic because we will not see. We will, regardless of Mimic, you will always have Ghost Orbs. Always. So if we can't find Ghost Orbs, then it is not Mimic. Not see ghost orbs. Okay. Could be a gin onto so demons are very, very affected by crucifixes. This is an interesting one. Gin onto demon. So I'm going to rule out Mimic, which would be Spirit Box. Hauntus. Yeah, oh, these are going to be hard to tell. It's going to be very hard to tell. If I were a betting man, though, I'm going to bet it's going to be a Hauntu. Let's blow out a candle. See that? So the Hauntu, if we can get it to manifest and if we can see it, in the ghost room, we will see it will have freezing breath. That is the Hauntu's X Factor. The gin with the power on will be incredibly fast. Well, it's far away from us, and it'll slow down when it gets close, which is something that's going to be really hard to test. All right, we got a lot of candles, so I'm going to smudge. See if we can get them in the smudge, see if we can get them to manifest. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Yes, I know you like to knock on the glass. Can you give us a sign? Can you manifest? Can you show yourself? Where are you? Are you here? Give us a sign. Show us a sign. Where are you? You really wang jangled this door, didn't you? I 
I don't think it's demon. I don't feel it's been aggressive enough to be a demon. Even with these creases around, it should have tried to hunt by now. Hey. Yo, yep, playing some Phasma. Welcome in, Zeros. Guys, check out ReZero. Um, hold on one second, let me step outside before I get beasted on by this ghost. We are playing some Phasma. Let me see if I got this, uh, do this correctly. Yeah. Let's check out zeros. B zero. Nice. Hold that rain and just climb and peek this out. There's uh, socials. He's doing um, a subathon right now. Check him out. Give him some support. The VTuber. There's a lot of shooters and is quite cracked at. <laughs> he is quite cracked. Let's see, you've been playing some um, Valorant. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Hello. I saw you were streaming earlier. Are you are you still streaming? Ugh. This ghost is gonna. Oh, what are you doing? Is that just? Did I just get freaked out by my own frozen breath? I did. <laughs> It's weird, like the 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 breath kind of spawns in weird areas now. Like if you if you duck down, it doesn't spawn below you. Sometimes it just spawns like in your grill. But if you stand up, like you can see it spawns below you. Oh yeah, yeah, I got you a little little command. I did not see Condon's breath. Ah, uh, but the 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 ghost demanifested. Dang it. So we're supposed to see Condon's like condensed breath like our breath if it's a haunt too. I did not see that. What do you think, chat? I think in that case it has to be, I mean, it has to be Jin then. It has to be. Would a Jin be? EMF5? Yeah, EMF5. I don't think it can be a demon. Maybe it's a demon. This would be the most chill demon that has ever existed though. I think it's, oh, you know what? It has to turn off the power. Hantus are, they're programmed to turn off the power more frequently than any other ghost in the game. Yep, 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 yep. Because they're faster when it's colder. So yeah, we can roll out Hantu for sure. It's a djinn. A demon went hunted by now. It's got to be a djinn. I'm calling my shot. Calling my shot, Miho. This is for Miho. It's a djinn. I've, I've used all my reasoning deductive skills. 
put on my Sherlock Holmes cap. Let's go. Survey says. I'm too good. Easy. <laughs> Except for that previous game. That previous game, that was just a warm up. I just need a warm up, you know? <laughs> Or the ghost just karate chopped me just as soon as I walked in the house. <laughs> I needed I needed to go through a training arc first. Ghost just walks up behind me. Nothing personal, kid. But I think it was personal. It felt kind of personal. Thank you for the nightmare. Mio, I did have a nightmare. All right, let's turn on. Oh, that's not the button. Let us turn on, let us turn on the thingy. How do I turn it on? Why are my things not set? Uh, channel reward? Yeah. Okay. Join the hunt. Okay, join the hunt turned on. So if anyone wants to join in, Feel free to avail yourself of that. Let's see what we did. Let's see what we did. We didn't get hunted that time. 50 interactions. Two ghost events. Yep. Very, very chill ghost though. But I guess to contrast from the, the insane ghost, the, the previous insane ghost. We're going to go ahead and rebuy some stuff here because we lost a couple things. Lost in, lost in action. Apparently we lost the thermometer. Ugh. I like to have a kind of an even number of items so it's easy to see what I brought. In case I missed anything. I always have the same numbers. So if when I'm scanning, I can see and take something with me. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good. Glow stick. Oh, no. That many glow sticks. Just one glow stick. I only get one. One liner. Do you get all the motions? One para. One. We get two photos. There's already one. It's a default item. One salt. Full sanity. Full smudges. Full sound. We need that surround sound. One flashlight. One thermo. One tripod. All right, let's go on to the Ridgeview Roadhouse. Not on Nightmare, though. Not unless somebody else wants to redeem a Nightmare. Feel free to, if you so choose. Ten push-ups. I've been saved from push-ups. Let's go. Right, 
So Jin's are Jin's are programmed not to turn off the power because their special ability makes them significantly fa faster when the power is on. They will they will path faster uh, to the nearest player. Really, if they don't know where the nearest player is, they'll just path a lot faster around looking for the nearest player until they're within a certain number of meters. I don't remember how close it is, but it's pretty close to the nearest player, and then they'll slow back down and then start accelerating back up to that player. So it gives them a significant advantage, especially like on, on school or prison where there's long hallways. They will fly at you. Um, it's really scary. <laughs> so they will not turn off the power and they will more actively want to turn the power back on themselves. Hauntus, on the other hand, are faster the colder the house is. And they're significantly faster now. They used to be kind of a joke, but in the, in the last several updates, they've been buffed heavily. So they will very actively turn the power off. In fact, they'll turn the power off more frequently than any other ghost. So the fact that we've been in there so long and it never turned the power off, not even one time, that told me, okay, it's absolutely not a Hauntu. And then the, the thing that gave away the demon is the demons, they, they just hunt. They just hunt and they hunt and they hunt and they hunt. And uh, it hadn't even attempted to hunt. It hadn't blown out a single crucifix. So, um, yeah. Made it kind of obvious. Made it kind of obvious. Also, uh, Robert Garcia. When it manifested, the Hauntu is supposed to have the condensated breath, the, uh, the freezing breath animation i've never i don't think i've no i have seen it once um but it was a it did it like that clear animation that was hard to see um so the only time i've seen it is uh oh we got tarot cards the only time i've seen it's when it's like the fully fledged animation where it's like fully visible so yeah that's what i was kind of like i don't know yeah i kind of gave itself away by not turning off the power yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Lockers are blocked. Why? Why are they always blocked? Give me somewhere to hide. When the lockers are blocked, the garage is like a death trap. Let me turn on my EMF. All right, so since uh, power wasn't in the garage, which I didn't check to see where it was, it's gotta be in the basement. These lockers are also blocked. It's not there. Right here. Power up. Wow. Some hiding spots. That's blocked. That's okay. That's not a great hiding spot, to be honest. I've died so many times in that closet. Also not a great hiding spot. Much better to just hide behind this door right here. Because the ghost will very aggressively open up these closets. Anytime it pass past it, it'll open them up. And if it does the thing where it kind of does this path and then does this path, it could just really quickly kill you. Ooh, bum. Uh, pick up the bone. Thank you. This is one of my favorite places to hide, but it's obviously blocked. Hello, ghost. You can shimmy your way in here. Hide there. Don't like to hide in these closets for the same reason. This isn't as bad as the other closets because the ghost won't really, it'll path past. It won't like continually run into them like some of the other closets. This room is a death trap. If you ever come down this hallway, it can kind of be a death trap. You can kind of hide behind this door, but the ghost will often path all the way in this room. And uh, sometimes it'll see it. So I don't like to hide in there unless it's like last resort. This house may not be haunted. We might have just broken into some random person's house. Hello? Are 
Are you sleeping, ghost? Okay, we might have to rethink our strat here. Go ahead and drop our stuff. Look at our sanity, because we're not playing professional. We could see our sanity now. Still 70. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's go in with Thermal Might. Sure. Um, what else do we want? Guess we'll just we'll just meal some stuff in. Turn off this light. Quickly scan around. I don't want to sit around in the dark too long because. Cindy was already at 70. Okay, drop that there. And we're going to turn on some lights. We're gonna do is we're just gonna sweep this bottom floor with the thermometer and then we're gonna go take some pills and then we'll sweep the other floors I don't want to get caught not even knowing where the ghost is and have it hunt we have no evidence we don't even know where the ghost is we don't even know why the ghost is Not even sure how the ghost is. Okay, I heard it throw something. It sounded far away. We're going to finish our sweep here, but I'm pretty sure it's upstairs. Or it could be in the basement, actually. Look for things out of place. I see nothing out of place in here. It's very warm. Okay, let's get out of here. Sometimes houses be like that. Sanity's at 60, so we're kind of getting in a hunting range. We'll pill up, that'll bump us up to 90. We're gonna meal in some more stuff. We'll take that in, we'll take our book in, we'll take our, um, actually we're not gonna take the salt in yet. Take this in. And just so we don't lose the dots, I like to set them up. Even though it's, it's a right shoe that can kind of... Oh, turn the power off. Nice. So, turning off the power kind of gives away some things about it. Oh, let's get our lights. Get our camera. Let's get our EMF. There should be stuff on the ground somewhere. And we're going to turn our power back on. Wait, what was that? Was that freezing? Or was that just a ghost? Uh, power on. Oh, yep, there's a... I think that's... Is that ghost that did that? Did I see freezing on the stairs here? Are you here? Freezing right here. All right, so we're starting to get you. We'll just leave this right here. Our 
orbs. There's an orb, ghost orb right there. Big old juicy ghost orb. I don't know if you see it right there, kind of floating up. And it knocked over this this cock here. Oh, we got orbs, so let's see. Revenant, Yuri, Hantu, Onryo. No more activity from that. All right, so what else could it be? It could be spirit box, it can be dots, it could be writing, it could be fingers. It cannot be EMF. Revenant could be very dangerous. Really, any of these ghosts can be dangerous. Ghostesses. I like to align my book with the um, thoughts because if somebody's watching from the van, it makes it very easy to see from the van if the ghost writes. Because it'll cast shadows kind of all over the place in a very conspicuous manner. Let's grab a spirit box and uh, see if we can uh, get it to talk. Where are you? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Okay. So I'm going to leave this camera down there. I got a feeling. that down there mm -hmm. so spear box kind of meh could be fingerprints on to long lost on to perhaps mayhaps mayhaps photo escape oh we need to find out if it's a revenant Really like to find out if it's a Revenant. Revenant's still the top sprinter of the game. It is still the fastest ghost in the game. Its speed dominance is starting to be challenged by the by the Raichu, though. Even the Hantu, to be honest. But the Revenant still is. It, it edges them out in speed. But I think in danger, in danger, the 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 Raichu is still significantly more dangerous now. The Raichu is able to draw power from electronics. I think from a range of eight meters or something ridiculous. And uh, when it when it when it has electronics, the more electronics it has, the speedier it gets. And uh, like if you have a bunch of electronics littering the floor, like we have. It can be very, 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 very fast. But uh, Raichu is off the board. Um, I think because... What is Raichu? That's one of the first ghosts I like to eliminate. So yeah, freezing. Freezing eliminates Raichu. Yeah, I like to eliminate the Raichu. But since we have Revan on the board, we need to eliminate that. So that way we can make sure that we have some e egress from it. Revenant's still very dangerous. Gotta respect the rev. On this light. I get a crucy here. Just 
dropping some stuff. I have some stuff ready to go. Get these plates out of the way. I don't want plates to be in my way if I'm trying to grab that lighter. Nothing worse when you're trying to grab a lighter to light a smudge and you pick up a plate. Grab our other creasy. Scoop up this lighter. Wait a sec. Okay, I didn't write in the book yet. Good, good. Well, we can play dangerously. It's not really doing anything. We need a photo. What is ghost going? Okay, we're down to 60. There's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna use the tarot cards. We're gonna play a little dangerously. See if we can get them to manifest. We can get the devil. We can see if it's... It'll probably just kill us. Got a smudge, we got a salt. Do that salt there. Throw a lighter. It'll be hard. Yeah, it's hard to do with one person because you have to hold the stinging tarot cards. Wait. It's freezing up here now? What? Did I see freeze? Oh, it moved! It's upstairs now, it moved, that's why. Oh no. Where did you move to? You moving here? You, like, are just in this one little corner? I'm glad I took those pills. Yeah, the orbs are gone now. Freezing's kind of weird sometimes. Turn police lights. Where? Uh huh. Yeah, there's the orb now. Okay, so it just touched something. So let's look for uh, here to touch a door. So let's look for um, fingerprints. Oh, there we go. Fingerprints. Right. All right, we got you, a little stinker. On two. Um, we will need a spirit box to ensure that it's not a mimic, which I don't think it is because it hasn't really been changing its behavior much. We did spirit box earlier. We'll do it again. I'll move everything. What an annoying guy. We don't have to move the uh, dots or anything. Just move the cruises. Here. This one too hasn't turned off the power. Oh no, it turned off the power once. It turned off the power once. One time. That's where is our spirit box? So if we get this, we know it's a mimic. Where are you? What do you want? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. It's a mimic. 
It is indeed a mimic. Aha. Aha, aha. Gotta check for those mimics. Gotta check for those mimics. So the mimic, dangerous, dangerous ghost. Because it can at any time decide it's gonna mimic a demon. Trigger its instant hunt and just kill us for no reason. Kind of a jerk that way. Or it can decide to mimic Jin. Put on the speed trials, run us down. Or it can mimic a um a Raichu. All these electronics. Yeah, when you're dealing with a mimic, you really have to you really have to act like you're dealing with every single ghost or any ghost at any given time. Uh, do we need a candle? Witness a goat event. Capture a photo. One thing I don't, the one thing that weirds me out about this one is that, um, it has been so quiet. So it was like mimicking a shade or something at first. I don't know. You just killed the power. Turn it off because, you know, you don't want to mimicking a, uh, Turning on the power means if he makes gin, we're in trouble. Not there, do this. I don't know what to do about this ghost. Hello? Your fingies. Are they gone already? How much left? It's a ghost event, escape, capture a photo. This ghost is much more chill than the other mimic. Shall we be silly with this ghost? Should turn off the power again. Can you stop doing that? So rude. Rude. Oh no, you didn't. Oh, cool. Oh no.
So I drew the death card right off the bat, which causes it to hunt like a fool. <laughs> so now we have curse hunts. Man, this ghost is so quiet. First hunt, so it's a little bit longer than normal hunt. I think it's probably done. Yeah, it's done. I have no idea where I dropped the tarot cards. Oh, right here. Okay. Oh, wait, I can't. Hey, I got the photo. Nice. Go away. Okay. So we got our photo. We need to escape the hunt, which I should have done there. Um, yeah, so that's all we needed to do. Really. So let's do that. Let's uh. Some light. Oh, jeez. Some lights on. Let's get rid of these cruces. We're just putting them where we don't want them to spawn, which is behind us. We'll put one there. And we'll put one up the stairs. I don't want them to spawn up here. Oh, perfect. It's hunting. Oh, he's very fast. Holy crap. Okay, that should give us a survive. We should see the light turn off once he's done hunting. And we should uh, we should be good. There we go. Excellent. See, so yeah, I threw the the, the creases where I didn't want him to spawn. And let's see. Wait a second. What's going on? What? Weird alert. Okay. So, ba -ba -ba. yep, we got it. We got our mimic. Not too many photos, but that's okay. The Mimic. Spoopy Ghost. One of the spoopier ghosts, because you have to be prepared for any... For it to turn into any type of ghost. So it makes it very, very, very dangerous if you're not ready for that.
Let us add some things. Lighter. Motion. Era. Camera. Bolt. Sorry, I have to think about what I'm adding to make sure I add the right amount. All right, so we just did Roadhouse. Go to our favorite tangly angly angly one. Mary Davis. Just threw some. Heard something. What I hear. Ah. You're looking for toilet paper, aren't you? Should have known. Door, we got fingerprints. And we got our interaction. So if the EMF is going off, you can get an interaction, but it'll always give you fingerprints first. So if you take a picture and you get fingerprints, you can cue through your camera like that, take another picture and get it an interaction. You want the door to be like perpendicular to you like this, and you want to take the picture while looking up at it to get the, uh, to make sure that you get the maximum, the three star. Looks like we got some stinky water, some poopy water. This ghost is being very active. A little bit disconcerting, considering we haven't even gotten the power on or, like, out of the foyer. EMF 5. Fingerprints EMF 5. 5. Fingerprints. Smiling Jin Goryo Obake. Let us get the power on before this ghost just straight up murders us, because this ghost is seeming a little murderous in its intent. Got phone. Bam. And we need a cursed object. Power's on. Where is our cursed object? Okay. That whisper event it just did. So that's an event that is generally not, that is not done by the um, honey, not on the board, so it doesn't matter. But I check here already. <laughs> I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Very active ghost. No giveaways. No giveaways here of what it could be from activity. Can't be spirit box unless it's a mimic. And Mimic is still on the board from what we have. Though we haven't seen Freezing. Freezing needs to be on the board for Mimic, so we need, we'd need we find Freezing if it was. We're going to check off Spirit Box for now, though. Freezing would be a Gen, so we didn't see that either. Ghost Orbs are Bake. Mimics always have Ghost Orbs, so be on the lookout for that. Dots is Gorio. The Gorio's dots, you only see them through a camera. 
So that'd be a giveaway too. Um, that'd be a giveaway for Nightmare. It doesn't matter now. If we get dots now, we know it's a, it's a Oreo. Writing for Myling. Okay. So these are our four things. Before this ghost kills us, we are going to... Oh, we need to prevent. Oh, Obake. So Obake has got a, an interesting weakness um, of the uh, fingerprints. Um... Sometimes it'll have a six-fingered fingerprint. All right, I'm a little bit afraid to go inside. So I want to get the Creasy, so I don't want to take Sanity, because if I do, it's going to take longer for the hunt. So I'm going to go in with a smudge. Um, we can hide in the lockers. Oh, wait, can we hide in the lockers? This down. Stop wasting water. Throw that there. Okay. And we still need to find the cursed item. There's not too many places it can be. Put our other cruci down. Thing in there. here okay so it's not a music box I guess I don't know where the where does the voodoo doll spawn I don't know where that spawns on this map oh tarot cards they're there Ghost just played guitar. <laughs> All right, so. Candle. Brucey. Smudge. Actually, we need a camera. Hide in the lockers. I don't need to get a photo of this ghost, do I? No, I don't. Should be a candle right here. Yep. Stop wasting water. And it killed the power. Oh, this could be deadly. Oh god. Of course it would hunt right then. Of course it would. It 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 lured us into the basement to hunt. Try ghost. Hmm. 
Right there on my camera. Can I go? We do need to smudge it, so we might just do that right now. We don't need to smudge it, we just need to survive. Uh oh. Hopefully, we broke contact on a site there. I think we did. So, that's one thing you want to leave both locker doors open and go for the far locker. You can use the other locker to break line of sight if you're ever in trouble. And then it'll path to the locker, wiggle it open, but it won't actually, um, like, immediately kill you. You have time to shut it if it opens it. I wonder if I thought I dropped my camera. Right there. So let's get some sanity back. We should have everything cleared off the board. Pop. Pop. And at this point, we just need four more pictures. So we can get some salt and glow stick. I think we don't need smudge. But we still have a smudge stick though. So we're good. And it killed the power again. Ah, this goes. Oh, we still haven't gotten our last evidence piece. What am I doing? Here I am going on about this. Um, dots, orbs, writing, freezing. Oh, you really yeeted that. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're good on photos now. Let's figure out what this ghost is. <laughs> Smooth brain. Uh, okay, so yeah, we just need to figure out what it is. Uh, but your sanity's still good. So... Pretty confident it's not going to be uh, freezing, which should also rule out the possibility of a mimic. I really wish this ghost wasn't so obsessed with wasting water. It's really quite annoying. I don't like that sound. Right there. Uh, we're going to get rid of this glow stick as well. Creasy. Creasy? Where did that other creasy go? Did it punt it? All right, we need a dots projector. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. We're not gonna test for mimic. Oh. We might need to do put the dots in the uh in the kids room in the blue room
Could also be orbs, right? Could be orbs. Let's watch for a moment. The dots really should trigger in here if it's going to be dots. Orbs on this map can be really, really strange though. Tanglewood sometimes can be a bit of it can be a bit of a chore. It can be really difficult. So alone, you have to mule a lot of stuff. I mean, it's a small map, but just getting stuff in the right position can be a little bit of a chore. And in a group, it can be a problem because you can get your sanity knocked out real quick and in a hurry. Because um, you're pretty much always going to be in line of sight of the ghost doing something. Which means you're going to uh, end up getting your sanity drained very quickly and you don't really have a lot of ways to recover it. Fingerprints, EMF five. We got those right off the bat. So dots would be Gorio. Ma. Writing would be a miling. Orbs would be an Obake. We might really need to canvas the place for orbs. Got two pills left. Those orbs can be really weird. They can be floating in a really, really strange place. They should be somewhere around um, the, the ghost room, though. All right, let's, um, we're going to check the book. Close that door. Sometimes if you look at, uh, oh, yep, there they are. There's the orbs just in the very top left-hand corner. Yeah, sometimes you have to angle the camera very strangely to see them. So it is an Obakbak. Just the orbs, Obake. There we go. We also probably could have seen, um, might have seen some fingerprints that were misshapen. I don't see them as frequently as you, as I'd like to. It's supposed to be rare. Well, let's look at this door. No, that's a regular. So, regular five fingered imprint. There's another five. Obake fingerprints also disappear faster than any other ghosts. Um, which is kind of hard to gauge, but it is a thing.
Okay, we got the obake. I'm not gonna test for mimic. I'm risking it for the biscuit. It is indeed an obake. Right. Mm, where, where? Let us leave. One second here, let's uh... And some tings. All right, so I am going to take a quick pit stop real fast. So I will return in just a quick moment. So I will be right back.
and we are back. Uh, we already have our equipment, equipment selected, so let's see. We just did Tanglewood from the farmhouses. Let's pop over to Edgefield. This could be a wacky house. All right, we're here. Take a look Even at Johnson. Oh, magic mirror. So we'll uh we'll, we'll we'll grab that and find the ghost room. Ooh, we got the bone. So if the ghost doesn't like instantaneously give himself away, we will use the mirror to find the ghost. I just wanted to get the power on real fast. It's not in here. The mirror is one of the more helpful ghost items. Uh the mirror and the tarot cards I think are the best. Lockers are blocked. Get that power turned on. Boom. It does drain your sanity. I mean, all the items drain your sanity. Alright, so it's in the basement. So we'll just peek at it and see right off That's where it was just from recognizing the brick all right our sanity's still really good because we only looked for a very quick second so let's go in and say hello to this ghost shall we so from that quick peek i could see the brick uh, and i could see specifically that fan Oh, hello. See, you like to turn on lights. That means that this ghost is not a mare. Mares cannot turn on lights. That is impossible for them. EMF2 from that. So, um... The other thing we can get from this is we can get our trusty UV light and see if it is um, leaving fingerprints. So let's go ahead and do that. There's only one ghost that, that can't turn on a light and leave a fingerprint, and that is the Obake. So no fingerprints. So unless it's an Obake, fingerprints is not in it. Okay, that's not a hunt. But that still scared me. <laughs> Freezing. Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? So, when the ghost does an event, though, and turns off lights and turns on lights, that does not count um, as the fingerprints. So, I have freezing temperatures. It takes right you off, which is good. It takes your off, which is good. So I can talk as much as I want. Well, I can't talk as much as I want, but... Motion sensor. It also takes Obake off, so we know it is not fingerprints. Because it's touched that light. Um, Obake. So that shape shift of... Or, uh, no, sorry. 
when interacting with the environment and obake will rarely rarely leave a trace so that's that rarely leave a trace strength is that that trace it doesn't sometimes leave his fingerprints it's the only ghost that can interact with a door or a light switch that it won't always leave a fingerprint so if you see it flip a light switch or shut a door and it's not part of a ghost event where the ghost like does like multiple things at once like shut all the doors in a room or turn on all the lights or you know some kind of event if it's just one single flip or one door shut then you know um um it's not fingerprints if it's not an obake so since we know that it can't be an obake because we have freezing then we can eliminate fingerprints which further reduces the number of ghosts it can be so with, with fingerprints on the board we have all these ghosts eliminating fingerprints takes us down to just six and we have five potential evidence pieces so it could literally be any of these is that possible what did you shut the door on me rude this is like don't don't figure it out Got our sanity back up. We need motion sensor. We'll get that later. Um, we're going to go in with another Creasy. Uh, Wraith is off the board, so we can't do the salt test. We're going to bump. Bump. Just, in, just, just, to, just to protect ourselves here. Uh, I probably should have looked at that camera. Whatever. Okay, so we have one Creasy here. I'm gonna adjust this Creasy over here. I'll put one Creasy over here. Try to give us the maximum coverage. We definitely don't want it spawning on the stairs behind us. And I'm gonna try to put this one kind of here, I guess. It will cover through the walls. So just trying to get as much coverage as possible. Also got us freezing. We're gonna look for some orbies. Since we have high sanity now. Actually, you know what we need? Oh yeah, we do have that on. Orbies can be really tricky in this area, so that's why I'm kind of being spazzy about it. So I apologize. And they can spawn in weird, weird air. Oh, hello, freezing. Oh, are you? Okay, that was a fake. Did it move or? I'm sure that freezing is. Oh yeah, that freezing is now here. Gosh darn it. Oh, it moved upstairs, it looks like. It looks like it moved upstairs. Oh, Kiko. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nick, welcome in. Kigo, welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. Kemper, welcome back. Oh, Kigo, thank you for the resub. How was your stream? 
I mean, I imagine it was buggy as ever. I would love to have big mommy milkers in my mouth right now. Thanks for making me saying that. <laughs> Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Odo. <laughs> Guys, check out Kigo. Kigo plays a lot of Breath of the Wild and uh, has all the strats for it. Knows, uh, knows Breath of the Wild inside and out. Was that, were you playing Breath of the Wild? Okay. Pretty trill trying to get all the shrines in Breath of the Wild. Yep, yep, yep. Higo has one of the hoggiest voices on Twitch.tv. It's just so smooth. So smooth. Yeah, check out Kigo. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the raid. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what this ghost is. This ghost is, uh, doing a lot of movements on us. <laughs> I, I only speak the truth. It is, it is true. You, Uh, Missouri Miho is also another streamer and a good friend, but also a very chill voice, very, very relaxing voice. A lot of good streamer voices. How's my night? My night's not been too bad. I think I've died. Did I die t twice tonight? I don't remember. So I'd be playing the sequel, the sequel. Also, if you're interested in watching that, uh huh, uh huh. I'm interested in watching it, watching it. Well, I'm interested in playing it. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two weeks of shrooms. There we go. I like that. Two weeks of shrooms sound good to me. Where's my? Ri I have not seen that clip. But yeah, the uh, the stream's going good. I'm trying to figure out what this ghost is. I'm trying to figure out what this ghost is. Um, I, I was playing earlier, um, and uh, Miho had redeemed uh, Nightmare. We found the ghost in, in about a minute of entering the house. Uh, maybe two minutes of entering the house, because we came in the back door. And it was upstairs, so we go upstairs. As soon as we go upstairs, I start getting my egresses set up, my escape routes set up. We haven't identified a single evidence piece on this ghost, mind you. And um, the ghost just shut the door on me again. This ghost really w does not want me to come in the house. And as I, I set up, so I was setting up my egress routes start walking to where I know the ghost room is because it's made a bunch of noise. And before I can even get to the ghost room, it hunts me and kills me. <laughs> it was one of the fastest hunts I've ever seen uh, in this game. I suspect it was actually a mimic. I suspect it was, it was mimicking the, uh, the demon and did a, a demon triggered a demon early hunt. But it was fun. It was fun. We got it. We got it the next ghost. We did another nightmare after that, and we got it the next time. Speaking of which, we have redeems, so feel free to avail yourselves. I know, uh... Mick really loves those redeems. Right now, all we have is freezing, and we had the ghost room, but it moved. It was downstairs. Anger the ghost? All right. All right, we're going to anger the ghost. 
Uh, this might this might kill us. This might kill us. Uh, let's see. Where are we gonna? Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have first hunts right off the bat. Oh, that's a that looks like a nice spot to hide. A nice little, uh, little nice little uh, powwow, little, nice little uh, seance in there. All right, ghost, do me a favor, don't kill me. This is the cursed mirror. You can use this to drop your sanity quick and in a hurry if you want to. Oh, like that. Hello, ghost. So you can use it to tell where the ghost is at any given time. You can use it to drop your sanity um, and force it to hunt. You could also break it, which um, will, will, will trigger cursed hunts, which is actually what I was trying to do. But uh, it hunted before I could finish explaining what I was trying to do. So, before I do that, sorry, started hunting again. <laughs> It is indeed angry. It's this ghost. Hey, CE Bandit, welcome in, welcome in. Bad, not too bad. Guys How are supposed you? to follow me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he like teleported. Here you go. Thank you. Then. See if we can get out of here with dot nine. All right. So this is uh this is phasmophobia. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, this is phasmo. Trying to identify what this ghost is. Ghost being a sussy, sussy ghost. Uh, uh, we're gonna use all of our pills here. Uh, I don't need that. I need motion sensor. So yeah, we're trying to identify what this ghost is. We have various means to identify the ghost. We've identified that this ghost has freezing temperatures and not fingerprints. So once we get enough evidence, we can identify the ghost. And that's really the goal of this game is to figure out what the ghost is. Yeah, different types of ghosts. Each ghost has its own separate sets of abilities. Um, and, and based on the abilities, actually, this ghost might be the twins. This might be the twins. Twins uh, are ghosts that can have multiple different rooms where they hunt from. So it may not have moved. It may just have always been, always has been in two different places at once. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, it's a, it's a naval, 
a naval avatar, but I do like flight sim. Um, but I play some submarine simulators as well. I am an enjoyer of a uh, flight sim, though. I don't play it as much. It's it's harder. It's it's difficult to stream. Difficult to stream. Okay, we see ghost orbs there. Kind of hard to see, but um, there we go. Get a different angle here. There we go. So that little floating dot. Kind of an, on our camera there. I'm not sure how well it shows up on stream. That is a ghost orb. So let's see what does this ghost orb give us. Revenant, Yuri, Unreal. Yeah. And Unreal, I think, is allergic to fire. Correct, yep. So, Unreal is a ghost that does not like fire, so we can use um, the candles to, um, yep, orbs. But yeah, we can see it on this camera too. Probably a little easier. It's a little kind of white ball that's kind of floating up on the top right of the screen off to the right. But if it's an Unreal, uh, we can use the um, the candles to try to tease it. We could put down our creases and then light candles on top of it. It will always blow out the candles before it attempts to hunt. It will never hunt as long as a candle's lit. It'll never break a, a crucifix as long as a candle's lit. Um, I mean, we could always just test the spirit box as well, which is also downstairs. Go in. Put down our candle here. Put some lights on. And it killed the power. The ghost was originally in the basement. We had this book down here for quite a while. I never actually written it. Wrote, wrote in it. Is dots on the board? Evidence. Dots is on the board. We never saw dots either. Let's get that down. down. Gotta get our stuff back upstairs. Air box. And. Box protector. So, yeah, we need to. When the ghost moves rooms, you have to kind of mule your stuff around. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? The spirit box won't work if there is a light on in the room that you're trying to use it in. So you do have to be cognizant of that. I don't know if that... But it should have been fine with it being in the other room. Both these crucies in here. Oh, we just saw dots. It's kind of hard to see, but it did run through the dots projector. So it's a Uri. We'll say that again. It's like a little wispy apparition of the ghost that runs to the dots projector. There it is. Right there. Them's the dots. So we got our Yuri. Easy. All right. So we got our ghosts. Did we get everything? Yeah, we cleared the board. We got Uri. 
And we can uh, make sure we finish angering off this ghost. Chemper redeemed and anger the ghost, so uh, we'll make sure we finish angering it off. We have our magic mirror here. Again, you look into it, it tells you where the ghost room is. You see there, it's the blue room. That really burns down our sanity. So we're gonna go take a look at our sanity again. So our sanity's all the way back down to 30. So we're already in hunting range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this. Boom, as soon as I walk in, pop a smudge, throw it in there. Keep it, keep it from hunting. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Just make sure there you are. Okay. Smudge you again. All right, I think this is our last smudge. So that really burns down our sanity, whatever we do it. We should have 90 seconds since we smudged it before it can hunt. Unless we trigger a cursed hunt with the mirror. Um, so we, we saw that it was this blue room by looking into the mirror, we could kind of look around and see the room itself. If you continuously look at the mirror, it'll bring your sanity down to the point where the mirror will just break. So there's our camera. We can see our camera in the mirror. So now it's triggered a curse hunt. So the ghost is going to try to kill us. But it can't because it's terrible. I'll just light a candle here. We'll just wait him out. Curse hunts are longer than normal hunts. And the, the ghost can't detect the candle. It can detect your voice, but right now I'm, I have my, my in-game voice muted, so. Oh, he coming. I think that's done. Yeah, it's done. So one thing you want to do is uh, turn on the lights in the room that you're going to hide in. Makes it a lot easier to know when the hunt's over. You can see the light go out. Whenever the hunt's over, the ghost will always turn off the lights. All the lights that are on. When the hunt's done, um, you are you can also can't turn on lights while the ghost is hunting. Yeah, got our, we got our ghost. It's your... We've, uh, I think we sufficiently angered it to its maximum. We have zero sanity. We stared deeply in the mirror. When we were looking in the mirror, we could see around the room. We were able to see our camera that we dropped in the room, the items in the room. So it's a really helpful item to identify where the ghost room is. One of the better cursed items, but it really drains your sanity. So you gotta be careful using it. They're kind of a meme. They're kind of a meme, but they're fun to use. Right. Thank you, Chimper, for the uh, for the redeem. Appreciate that. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. All right, we got the URI. Let's see. Seventy three interactions, three hunts, three events. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So yeah, there are redeems to avail yourself of. Um. To make things more difficult, less difficult, mix things up. Feel free. Thank you again, Kigo, for the raid, and thank you, Raiders. Um, let's uh, let's, uh shout out Kigo again. Be sure to check out Kigo. We hang out there sometimes. He's a Breath of the Wild streamer. He's streaming Breath of the Wild today. He streams that quite a bit. He's really, really good at it. Uh, he knows all the strats. <laughs> Kigo is a top? Um, Only a top. <laughs>
also the sussiest of clips. <laughs> Smudge sticks, sound, strong flashlight, thermo. There we go. We did edge field. Don't really feel like going to prison. Unless someone wants to make me go to prison. There is a redeem for that. Feel free. If someone wants to banish me to prison. That is always an option. Uh, let's see. We got Willow. We got High School. We got Maple Lodge Campsite. Let's go to Maple. That's a hard map. Actually, you know what we haven't done a lot of? Not on Brown... Brownstone. Do we want to do Brownstone? No, let's do Maple. Let's do Maple. We don't do Maple a lot. Maple is one of the harder maps. Um, but we don't do that a lot. Uh, if anyone wants to join the hunt, feel free to join in. If um, all experience levels are are appreciated, uh, just know that this is not a uh, eighteen up stream. So if you do join, you know, just uh, be cognizant of that. So yeah, if you don't know how to play, I'm more than happy to help any anyone learn to play. Feel free to join in. I will be probably on for about another half an hour. So maybe another hunt. Maybe we'll do campsite and maybe one more, maybe like Willow or something. So let's jump in, shall we? Do do. What are we doing? Robert Wilson. All right. So our board looks a lot different. It looks like a drone mode, which is which is always fun. Um, we have the powers that green little thing over there. Uh, looks it's in the campsite area. So. Let's see, we're gonna grab a flashlight. Oh, <laughs> it's raining, so temperatures are gonna be hard. We're gonna grab a sound sensor. We're gonna grab a EMF, I guess. Let's take a quick scan of the cameras here. Not much we can see from these cameras. That camera is almost completely useless. Oh, we got two two cameras, and one of them's just garbage. Okay. Scan complete. <laughs> okay. That gate sounds so scary sometimes. Kind of take account of what's where from an item standpoint. I can never remember how the items are set up. And it's it's it is important to to know kind of where the items are, and how they're supposed to be like set, so that way if you walk by them you're like wait that thing's out of place. Um, like you know like if you see something knocked over here you know the ghost came through. The the um Ouija board will somehow spawn here. What I'm doing is I'm kind of prepping these doors for hiding. You can hide in the bathroom and wedge yourself in like this. The ghost shouldn't be able to find you that way. Power here. Actually, it's very, very loud. I think the power makes noise. Yeah. 
So the generator does not make noise, even if you're pointing the sound sensor directly at it, which is good. So we're going to try to find this ghost with the trusty sound sensor. So that's one of the problems of, of uh, this map is just finding the ghost. Oh, oh, there we go. Found the ghost. <laughs> right here. And we got freezing. It was all freezing as we walked in here. Let's turn on that burner. burner. I don't know what its area is. Is oh beans. I want some beans. Ghost, you want beans? All right, so we got freezing temps. We got a ghost that likes beans. Let's get this. I didn't even look at my sanity, but uh, larger maps, your sanity drain is actually much slower. So you don't have to worry so much. I mean, you still have to keep an eye on it, but it's not as big of a deal, especially this early on. Do a quick canvas for Orbeez. I don't really know where to look for orbs on this map. I don't play this map a whole lot. It's the newest map in the game. I suppose it can be just about anywhere. I mean, if Freezing's here, then Orbeez should be in the vicinity, right? Get freezing over here as well. Doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. So the ghost has turned off the power already. Suspicious soul. So that means this ghost cannot be a djinn. We're gonna go ahead and take that off, off the uh, table. That this ghost is not a djinn. The djinn will not turn off the power. Which is good. We can all we can leave the power on. Not seeing any orbs. Oh, don't do that, please. Rude ghost. Okay, still almost 80%. Um, sanity? We're going to go in with um, Sky and uh, Dual Crucies. I don't even know what our objectives are. Repel, Prevent, and Escape. Those are crappy objectives. I don't like those objectives. And it keeps, it's just trying to burn down this campsite. It just loves this, uh, this burner. Where are you? I'm here. Oh, okay. You, do you want beans? Do you want some beans? <laughs> I like this outside map. It's a, it's a... It's a good map. It's a. Uh, it's kind of spooky, and it's probably gonna get me killed. All right, so we have a spirity box. Onrio twins mimic. Onrio, 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 Onrio. 
Okay, we can do the fire test. Uh, it's going to be hard on this map because it's raining. <laughs> uh, so the Unreal doesn't like fire. Wait a minute, but it's been turned on the Butson burner. Does that count as fire? So, um, the Unreal is weak to fire, and extinguishing flames can cause an attack. So if you have a candle, it blows it out, it can trigger a hunt. So one test you can do is you can put the candle on top of a crucifix, and it'll never blow the, it'll never pop the crucifix as long as the candle's on top of it. Since it's raining, the only place we could put candles are like inside tents, so it's going to be very difficult on this map. Um... Ghost orbs. Didn't see any orbs. I don't know that we can discount orbs because I think it can be in a lot of places. It can't be dots in this configuration. Uh, EMF5, that's going to be hard to get. Fingerprints, that's going to be hard to get. Can't, can't be writing. <laughs> so this is all going to be hard things to get on this, side, on this map. Because of... Um, just how this map's put together. But that's fine. That's fine. So dots and writing are pretty easy to get. Alright, what's our sanity at? 69? 69? <laughs> nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Fingerprints, Orbeez, EMF5. I bet you're... Are you an EMF5 ghost? Are you a cheeky EMF5 ghost? Yeah, this is the newest map in the game. It's a uh, very unique, very unique. Nothing else like it. Oh, freezing way out here now. So before we were only seeing freezing in the tent. Tent. Now we're seeing it in this whole area. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm so twins would be EMF five. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Let's um. Actually, we're gonna hide in the in the bathrooms if we need to hide. What'd you throw? Over here. Game of two. Anger the ghost. All right. Could be difficult. I need to find something to, to anger it with. So let's find a cursed object. Which could prove difficult. But we're going to try. Probably in the house. I could always smudge it. Smudging it angers it. So you know the house key. It's under the mat. Uh, under the mat here. You got to get that before you can open the door. Uh, where? To... Beans. Oh God. That's not. That's not nice. All right. The cursed object is a, in a gram. <laughs> oh, we gonna die. We gonna die. Beans. Zay's beans. Um, we're dying. We're gonna die for this, uh, to anger this ghost, by the way. That's okay. Ooh, stop doing things. I'm fairly certain it's twins. Prevent, escape, repel. Get our camera. Get another smudge. It's a very, very, very long way to run. 
I don't think we can outrun it. Very long way to run. What do we got? Unreal Twins Mimic. Wait, what do I? I need that smudge. Let's see if the bone's up here before we. We could try to hide up here, but we'll, we'll, we will certainly die. I, I feel like our death will be certain if we try to hide up here. There's really nowhere to hide. I'd rather run. Hello, door, can you open? You know, bro. All right. For ReZero, we're going to try to anger the ghost with this ill-placed pentagram. Every time we light one of these two, we lose 16% of our sanity. So hopefully it's not hunting. We, we have no way of knowing if it's hunting. Run. Run, run, run. Oh god, that just killed us. That just definitely killed us. Maybe not. Maybe we're okay. Actually, I think we're good. Never mind. That ghost, uh... That ghost is not... That ghost is not good. We're good. We're good. Maybe we can get some fingerprints from that, too. I should have shut those doors on my way out. It's definitely not hunting. The, the, the cursed hunts are the longest on um, larger maps. So they're up to... They could be, I think... I think over a minute, possibly. Okay, we're done. It took a while to get over here, so. <laughs> well, we, we had to walk all the way over here after I messed up my smudge. <laughs> after I threw an unlit smudge at it, and our sanity is at zero. Wah, wah. Uh, okay. We don't, our flashlight's still over there. Oh geez, we're gonna need all of our, so we need to use all of our stuff to regain our sanity. We've uh, yeeted one of our smudges, so we're gonna actually go get that back. We're just in all, we're in a, we're in a really weird, in a really sticky situation. Right. Get that on. Oh, don't, 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 don't kill me. We also need our flashlight, so. <laughs> uh, where's the light at? Whatever, I need it. Oh, crap, I forgot to get a UV light. Crap, crap, crap. Eat that smudge. All right, we're gonna get a UV. See if we can see if we can get a thingies. Run, 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 run. Okay, UV and. Uh, camera, I 
guess. One thing that makes this map hard too is there's not a lot for the ghost to leave fingerprints on. So if that's an evidence item type, it could be really hard to get that one because the, the fingerprints aren't permanent. They, they go away after 90 seconds for most ghosts and uh, 60, I think 60 seconds for the Unreal. If Tama a nightmare, oh no, okay. We'll do nightmare. <laughs> On you, let the map. Okay. Prison or asylum? Gemini. Okay. I got you. I got you. It will be the last one, though. It will be the last one. Anything else? This game seems super knowledge based and what I really, um, hydrate. Okay. Got you. Um, it's, it's actually pretty simple. There isn't a whole lot to the game, but there is a lot of nuance to, I mean, it is a game you can master, but it, you don't, it's, it's not necessarily difficult cause it's still fairly simple. There's only a finite number of combinations of things that can happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a nightmare mode on prison. I haven't seen any compelling EMF fives. You can kind of see EMF five. That might be EMF five right there. That might be the twins doing multiple things at the same time. Um, I'm gonna spend too much time though. What's what's twins? Twins is gonna be my five, right? Yeah, you my five. Wait, why do I only have one sound sensor? Oh crap! Uh, I I messed up. I didn't bring enough sound sensors. If I would have brought sound sensors, that might have made this a little easier. Turn up the power. EMF five. All right, we got it. That was the EMF five. We got it. So it's the twins. And yeah, it's kind of difficult to see with the twins because it can be doing multiple things at the same time. So you see these massive spikes because both the twins are doing things at the same time. But it is indeed twins. Or potentially a mimic, but I'm going with twins. I didn't see ghost orbs. All right. And indeed it is the twins. Oh, let me get my hydrate in. Thank you for the hydrate. We're going to do a nightmare on uh, on prison. To satisfy that request, give me one second here. This will be our last one unless I get absolutely boot.
All right, let's do this. Yeah. Pick one head mounted cam, one lighter. Or get our motion sensors, make sure we get it with para. Camera, salt, sanity, images, sound sensors, one strong flashlight, one thermo, one tripod. On prison, nightmare mode. Let's do this. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. There's a good chance I'm going to get boots. Very large amount. Joseph Wilson. Uh, okay, we're gonna go in with a sound thing, strong flashlight, and um, 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 hmm, what should we go in with? EMF? Sure. Thank you for believing. Sometimes the, uh, whatchamacallit, voodoo doll will spawn right here. We're just going to prep this room for emergencies. This is a good hiding spot right off the bat, right in this corner. It's one of the best hiding spots on this map. So I turn on the light just to have that ready to go. Please be a mirror. It is a mirror. <laughs> Perfect. Easy. So we have a cursed mirror here. We're gonna wait for that to go around a little bit. That's a cell block, I can't tell which one. Okay, I don't know which cell block it is, but that is one of the cell blocks and it is hunting. So we know the ghost is in one of the two cell blocks. And we burned up a significant amount of our sanity to learn this. Probably didn't need to burn up that much sanity. Can't tell if it's done hunting, but it can hunt for a very long time. We're gonna risk it. Okay, it's done. And unfortunately we can't see what our sanity is. So we're gonna just take two pills right off that. We're gonna go in with a glow stick. We're gonna go in with we're not gonna go in yet. We're gonna quickly look at some cameras. So this looks like cell block A. It looks like all these doors are open or a significant number of them are. Cell block B. Um. Uh, it looks like a lot more closed, but I can't really tell. So if I were betting man, I would say it was cell block A. So we're going to go to cell block A. I'm going to go into the thermometer. Glow stick. And our flashlight. We're going to go straight to cell block A, see if we can see. We'll take temperatures there.
It's going to be hard to tell without the power being on, though. It is really cold. We can't, we don't know where the power is on the map um, because we don't have. The map doesn't tell us where it is. Probably in the warden's office or something. It could be in one of the cell blocks, though. Okay, it's three degrees in here. It is kind of cold. So, oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely in here. And the power is in here. Nice. Boom. So not quite freezing, but quite cold in here. So ghost is in cell block A, I think. Let's look for some fingies. We don't know what our sanity is, so we have to be very, very careful. We took two pills, but... We are not going to get out of here if the ghost hunts. All right, I'm not seeing any fingies. Let's go back down. Ghost is being extremely quiet right now. Oh, it just it just moved a door in here, so okay. Now we are 100% convinced it's in here. And it moved another one. It's no longer being quiet. It's it knows the jig is up. All right, let's go. Get some lights on. Boom, boom. Try to preserve our sanity a little bit because we already used two pills. Boom. Okay, so no freezing. No, uh, so on nightmare mode, the ghost can hide one piece of evidence item. So it could be hiding freezing. And it could actually be freezing, and it could also be hiding uh, fingerprints, and it could actually be fingerprints. We just don't know yet. We need to get more stiff in there. So we're going to quickly Zerg rush our way in. I, I really hope it's not orbs. Really, it's, it's going to be hard. The hard thing about this map is it is so big, and getting those evidence items can be so difficult. We need at least one piece of evidence, though, to narrow it down. is so big getting dots and getting orbs getting writing all of that is really difficult sometimes
see if we can get any dots here. That'd be very helpful. So far, no dots. Okay. So, we're going to finish off our pills. Spirit box. Uh, grab a smudge. go in and uh, I think it's been most active upstairs probably I don't think that the where the um, Because the, um, did you just move this one? Oh, fingerprints. Perfect. EMF5 fingerprints. Okay, that's all the evidence we're going to get, unless it's a, where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to look for, um, orbs. So we got fingerprints, EMF5. So, fingerprints, EMF5. Gorio Jin Myling Obake. So, the Jin will never turn off the power. Look for orbies. To make sure it is not a, a, a uh, twins will always have orbs, even if you get the two evidence pieces, or not twins, um, mimic. Always, 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 always. I should have a flashlight. Keep my sanity up. Actually, yeah. We could roll out a gin by just hanging out and seeing if it turns off the power. If it turns off the power, we'll know it is not a gin. And those screens will stay on as long as the power is on. Oh, I can't look for orbs with my flashlight. Derp. Not seeing any orbs. I think we can rule out Mimic. Oh, wait, did you turn on? No, the power's still on. Just saw that ghost event up there. Or just shot across from the top of the map. Okay. Let's go get some uh some protection items. So 
we are off to a good we're doing good we're doing good we're gonna figure this out okay so myling gorio okay so it can't be a gorio that's easy why can't it be a gorio because we have fingerprints, we have EMF5. Gorios must have dots. And those dots are only visible through the camera. You wouldn't you won't see them with the naked eye, you'd see them only through the camera. So we can knock off Gorio by doing that. Jin will turn off will not turn off the power at any point. So if the power goes off, we can knock off the Jin by knocking out freezing. Leaving Myling Obake. Obake um, will have the weird fingerprints, but that's going to be, that's going to take a long time to figure out because there's only two doors in there that can leave fingerprints, or three. Uh, myling, we're not, the, the only thing about a myling we can figure out is going to be the um, the footsteps. Mylings are very quiet. So the closer you are to, so, so you're going to, your items, your flashlight will be affected by them before you hear their footsteps. Um, on prison, that's pretty much impossible for you to get that. And look, um, it's not impossible, but you're probably going to die if you try to identify them in that, by, by that way. Right now I'm leading Jen. Leaning on the gin. Does not try to turn off the power. Gin would be dangerous with these long sight lines. Really, any ghost is dangerous, but I don't want that. that I don't want it to spawn anywhere near me. I'm gonna put one there. Smudge. Lighter. Get more stiff. Basically, we're just going to do a couple shuttle runs, bring some more stuff in. I get another creasy, another smudge. Um, just so we have a sufficient amount of protection items. And then just see if it turns off the power. We'll just cheese it that way. Only been able to knock off one ghost. Oh, the Gorio. Boom, boom, boom. So, like I said, I think unless we get our backs blown out here, if we do, we might do a quick willow. Um, this will be our last one. So hopefully we can get this one. Start another crucy, maybe a little further. Um, so if anybody has got any raid targets, I think, I, actually, we'll see who's, we'll see who's streaming. But maybe come up with some raid targets. I'm not sure who's streaming out there. I might uh I might have a raid target in mind actually. Well, so so keep some raid targets in mind if I um if I can't find someone to raid. Power still on. Turn on the lights. Power still on.
I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. Actually, no, I'm gonna close. Yeah. Basically, you use these doors to break line of sight. And close both these doors, actually. I definitely don't even need to be near the ghost room. I mean, there's really no point. <laughs> Except we have a bunch of smudges over here. All we're doing at this point is just trying to see what it is. Um, close both of these doors, force it to maybe interact when it does hunt. And um, perhaps it will leave a Obaki fingerprint or quick enough. But I am I am now like in the ninety percentile that it is indeed a gin. We can go we can walk around, maybe look for the bone. Wait, I didn't get a picture of the uh I didn't get a picture of the mirror, so we can do that as well. Miho, have you have you played this game a lot? Or at all? I don't know if you're still here. Auto money. Pop upstairs, see if we can find ourselves a bone. We're not going to turn on any more lights. In fact, it probably behooves us to turn off some lights because the ghost turned on lights. So we don't want the ghost to kill the power. So the djinn can, in fact, kill power by turning on lights. If it turns on enough lights, it can, in fact, kill the power that way. So it can indirectly kill the power. We don't want that to happen. We want it to actually turn off the power itself. And that will tell us if it's an Obaki or a Myling. Power is still on and we can still turn on the switches, which means it's not hunting. We're just walking around seeing if we can find the bone. We can hide in these bathrooms if we need to by angling the doors. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the last one. That's what we died in. If it is a gen, if they get out of the cell block, he can cover a lot of ground a lot really quickly. Because his power is, if the power is on, he can move very, very fast. But it helps us to leave the power on because it helps us isolate whether or not it's Jin. Which I'm leaning towards Jin. You can hide in here too. This isn't the best hiding spot because it will path in this room, but it generally won't path all the way into this room. They usually stop and turn around, so those little corner hiding spots are usually pretty good. Yeah, one way to tell if it's hunting, just periodically turn on lights. Unfortunately, this isn't very exciting, but uh, I 
it's given us our answer, which I am. I'm a, if I were a betting man. Okay, it's hunted. We're gonna go hide in the bathroom room. And we're gonna leave after this hunt. We're gonna call it Jen. I'm convinced it's a Jen. It's very quiet. It's sun hunting. So, so the reason I'm convinced it's a gen is we've been in this place for a very long time and it has never once turned off the power. It's turned on the lights in the room with the power. Um, and that's the thing is gens never turn off the power. Their, that's their meta. That's their X factor. So we're gonna go with Jin. We'll see where we're. We'll see how good we did. Let's see what the survey gives us. Survey says got Jin locked in. He is a gamer. I've got some jobs ready for you. Easy. Easy. All right, guys and gals and and all. Let's uh, let's step into the radio room, shall we? Uh, I forgot to get the uh, the stats there of the game, but that's okay. That is a okay. So we had some good games, guys. Um, we are gonna call it here. Uh, let me see here. I think I know who I'm gonna throw a little raid out. Give me one second though. Before I do. do, do, do. Bear with me one second, guys.
Oh, we're going to throw a little raid out to uh, three zeros. Three zeros was hanging out earlier. They're, um, they're playing Destiny 2. That's a vibe. Feel free to come hang out. Um, they're doing a subathon. So, grab some channel points. Use them to uh, torture me later. If you so choose. <laughs> Thanks everybody for hanging out. Thank you for the redeems. Thank you, Kigo, again for the raid. Uh, you've raided me several times. I do appreciate that. And thank you for the resub. Uh, thank you, Chimper, for the redeem. Thank you again, Miho, for the redeems and for hanging out. I really appreciate all the hanging out and um, um, and just chatting in general. Um, hydrates, the angers, the ghosts, all that, all that. The nightmare. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope everybody had a good time. And uh, let's uh, let's uh, pop over and say hello to uh, ReZero. I'll catch you guys next time. I'll be streaming hopefully tomorrow. Uh, hopefully closer to time. Hope 6.30 p.m. CT. So good night, everybody.